Hi, this is a quick uh, upload on just how to connect your external, or oh, sorry, how to connect two receivers together. I've got a Buddha Yamaha uh, Atmos amplifier. It can output 11.2. Uh, however, you need another external amp to get uh, the 11.2 to work because out of the box it can only do 9.2. Um, so what I've done is decided to use my old amplifier for this. Now just to keep in mind that your amplifier must have pre-inputs um, to allow this. Uh, otherwise, uh, you can still do it. It just means you're only going to probably get one. You can only connect uh, or you can say one source of sound to come through. But at the moment, I've got two separations. I've got my front presence and rear presence speakers to be to be running through my external amp. So so again, if you haven't got that, um, like this new Yamaha amp hasn't. Um, so if I ever wanted to use this amp again one day in the future, as a as a you know secondary amp, it only probably allow me to do um, just one channel of of source of sound. But with the older amp, I can I can separate the signals um, or, or use multiple signals into this amp. So I'll just quickly take you around the back and show you what I've done and see how I've connected it. So let's go back here. So what I've done here, as you can see my zone out and pre out, just there. Yeah, underneath it actually states that there, that's my front and rear present speakers, um, or sound channels. Sorry, not speakers. And they're the pre out. So basically, they're your pre outs that you choose which sound you want to come out. Now, if you had, like I said. Um, different types of amps the configuration will be a little maybe a little bit different but they're generally pretty much the same so I've got my pre out for your subwoofer which is pretty standard so I've connected those to the back of my old amp now my old amp like I said had the separation channels for the old type of DVD players which Always had the front, surround, and centre subwoofer. It's, so this this particular model that I've got can separate 7.1 channels. Okay, so what I've done is I've decided to hijack uh, the surround back and surround channels. One to be my front separation, and the other one to be my rear separation. Uh, you know, I could almost use if I wanted to use the front inputs. I could do that. Now, I'm not sure if amperage changes somewhat. I don't think so. I think the signal, this amp separates the amperage accordingly. Um, but yeah, I'm not, no genius. Uh, if someone wants to comment about that, please do so. But however, I've, I've decided to use them as my front and rear presence uh, inputs. And I've corresponded the speaker uh, obviously to those inputs. So because I'm using the surround and surround back signals, I've used the speaker, external, uh, the speaker connections as such, surround speakers and the surround back speaker inputs, or I should say outputs really. But anyway, as you can see, that's what I'll do. If I was going to do centre, front, I'd use... So if I was going to plug in the front, use the front channel, I would then have to connect through here, put my speakers through this thing for the sound to come out for that channel. They're sort of connected, if that makes sense. Uh, and make sure that your other amp hasn't got... If you've got more speakers, you can't see my surround back. And that's my surround back. Then I've got surround presence, and I've got front presence. They're not connected, okay? Uh, so if I was separating those channels, what I noticed is if I had the speakers connected here, it may, I'm not sure what, you know, I'm not sure your amp or what it does, but some amps may not pre-out the sound to the pre-amp if they detect speakers connected. So just, just unplug them just to make sure. 
And once you've got that connected and, you know, so you sort of got your speakers, what you want connected to where they're coming out from. So the center's coming out from the main amp. Fronts are coming out from the main amp. I've got the surrounds coming out from the main amp. It's just my present speakers are coming out from my rear amp. From my, sorry, from my uh, old amp. Okay. Now, once you've done that, there's one more important thing to do, or a few important things I should say, is to go into your old amp, choose DVD, and I've got it in pure out, so you want the sound not to be processed somewhat at all. So what you do is you choose the DVD option, and if you've got, you should have a multi-channel somewhere because this amp's got multi-channel. That's to separate the signals for the DVD, and, and press that. And make sure multi-channel comes on. So that means it will detect any uh, those those separations at the back. Uh, my main amp should do all the processing, and hopefully just the sound comes out to those channels, and it's and it's taken care of by this amp and used, and this amp uses its power to power the speakers. So once you've done that, you've got to go into your main amp. Right, you've got to go into setup. Some, you know, each amp's different. This is the Yamaha. So I've chosen the setup, I'm going to manual setup. And I've configured my power amp to output the front and rear separation. So here is power amp assigned. So here I've assigned the power amp, oh sorry, my external amp to be the front and rear separation. As you can see there, see there, external amp, front rear separation, it's gotta be red and the boxes on the screen are indicating which speakers are the, I chose. Now with this particular amp, you've got different <laughs> configurations. Um, so if I had to center one, you'd probably find, actually I haven't seen one, so I'm not sure how that would work, but obviously I think you'd, you'd have to flick through them and find something, but obviously you can do it, because um, I've read up somewhere that you can. In this particular, I don't, I don't see an option here at the moment. Um, maybe, maybe there's another menu to go to. But for my purposes, I found what I wanted is to use that, that particular one. So I've entered that, tick that one, and make sure you run your, your what you call it. Uh, well, this one's called Yop. There's uh, Odyssey, the mic connection to your amplifier that's come with your amplifier detects what speakers you got so you know the one that it sets up all your speakers the frequencies and where the locations are when you first connect the the first time around make sure you get that so in it enables all the speakers that you got in the room yeah and then once you've done that you, you're pretty much ready to go so i'll show you quickly test tone so I go levels so you can adjust the levels obviously So those rears I haven't connected yet to the main amp because I um, don't have a set at the moment. So there's my front separations and my rear separations coming through the amp. So I hope this helps um, people that are sort of wanting to do this, uh, yeah, to get you set up. Uh, if it has, great, I'm happy because I know what it's like when you don't actually know what to do. Um, yeah, so if you want to leave a comment, you can. I'll try and respond um, if I can help out.